Hey guys, and welcome back to FTL Fridays! <coughs> so, you probably noticed we're not where we left off, and that's because I just recorded this episode, and I got half an hour of blank screen, which kind of sucks because I had a really exciting ending, even though it did kind of stem from me making a mistake and not quite reaching an escape thing in time, but never mind, eh? Unfortunately, we're back to the beginning, so, uh... We're going to try and get through the first few sectors as quick as we possibly can. Or at least not quickly, but uh, without hanging around too much. Just so that we get enough scrap to actually survive the later ones. So I'll, uh, I'll skip through most of these things. Hello, our shields are down. We won't last long. Let's shield their ship with ours. We try our best, but a, stroke, a rock hits them and explodes them. Eight scrap. Unfortunately, this means we have lost our scrap recovery arm and our shield booster and our anti-bow beam which I got and the stealth. Oh, I, I was doing really well. I was doing pretty well. There's a distress beacon. A single life form. Let's find out. We find a colony that's been attacked. We find the survivor. Let's invite him to join the crew. He states he was a weapons operator before being stranded. Charlie. Nice. That's actually quite a good uh, starting thing. Right. And because I've had, uh, what's it called? Uh, quest, Charlie becomes Davy! Welcome to the crew, buddy. And he's gonna be a very handy starting chip. Right, let's get our weapons spooled up. Just so I don't forget. And let's head downwards. Let's see what we can find. The rebel ship is guarding the beacon. Okay, let's do it. What are we going to do? I don't think he's going to get for a shield snow, but he does have that missile launcher, which could be a problem, so let's try and take down his weapons. Damn, that's firing fast. Take this. Oh, and we had so much fuel the last time too, didn't we? And loads of the missiles. Oh. That's such a shame. <laughs> I would have carried on from there, but a lot had gone on, and frankly, I was about to explode anyway, so I had about three points of health left after. Oh, FTL's charging, do you? No thanks. Yeah, um, I was caught out at the escape beacon, and they had anti surface battery, anti, anti surface, anti ship batteries blasting away at me, and I couldn't get through the other ship's shields. Kept taking out my engines and my pilot. I had hull breaches all around, and yeah. So uh, I think I'm just skipping us all some aggro by starting again. Right. Let's see. Kind of want to go to the shop, but there's not much we could do there. We've got no scraps. So. Automated ship. Let's get involved. Okay, we need to take down his weapons or his drones pretty quick. Oh, we're going to take some hurt here. Okay, weapons down. He can't hurt us anymore. Let's take the uh, drone down next just to make sure. Then we'll go for his shields. Because uh, automated ships, they don't have anyone aboard, but obviously automated. But they can self repair slowly, so. We just want to keep harassing him. Make sure he never gets to the point where he has his weapons and his uh, drones back online. One more up to do it. Good job, Charlie. Glad we've got him aboard. Not Charlie, Davy. Let's change his name. Ship breaks apart, fuel and scrap. Nice. The outpost hails us and gives us more fuel and scrap and two missiles. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Let's go this way. Hoover up some more stuff, then stop by the shop on the way out. Uh, another rebel automated ship it seems to be patrolling around a long range sensor station. Attack! Ooh, no shields? Sure. I'll take the win. 
but hopefully we can shoot before that bomb goes off. And we do, excellent. One more burst ought to do it, if we don't miss, which I don't know, we might. Brilliant. Well done, Davy. Get eight scrap and updates on the map. There's not much going on. A few ships. Let's go to the shop. Come on, good stuff. Backup battery, cheap repairing. Not bad, not bad. Scrap recovery arm. That would probably be worth getting. Although, 10% more scrap. So that means we'd have to collect 500 scrap just to break even. Uh, we do it. There's other stuff I'd rather get. Uh, I think we're going to fix. And I do want that backup battery. I think that's just a really super useful system. So let's go after some of these ships, see who we can kill. Uh, they want us to pay a toll? No thank you. We might regret the situation, but I've regretted many decisions. Alright, so their bomb's gonna get through our shield anyway, so there's no... Ooh, fire, that's bad. So we're in no rush to take out the super shield. Where's that going? Okay, that didn't actually set a fire. There's no real need to uh, let's use the backup battery. Oh, that's a cool sound effect. I don't remember that. If we turn our doors back on mine, actually, I was going to say that they can just destroy them again. But if they do set a fire, then we don't want to be stuck with a fire going off and not be able to remotely vent it. Although that's two that's gone off without setting a fire, so I think it might have just been a fluke that the other one did. Come on, let's get their weapons down. Oh, man. Actually, you just stay in the pilot seat. Oh, that's super bad. And not in a good way. What the heck was that sound? Oh, that'll be our battery going off. Oh, taking down the med bay? That's just cruel, like. Finally, right. They offer you some cargo if we let them live. Uh, no, I think we can do better. I've just realised we haven't actually taken any hull damage, so that uh, the bomb was only doing system damage. That's good, I thought we were getting hurt quite badly there. Great. Pirate down. Free fuel, two missiles, and 17 scrap. Yeah, that was definitely worth the, uh, the time. Let's go here, then we'll go into the nebula, and then we'll escape. The missile shoots across your bow when the jump completes. Your scan re reveals a pirate a pirate pursuing an unknown vessel. Weren't expecting company. Stay at this and profits. Um, no, that's not a lot of stuff. We want more. And that's quite a scary ship. Is that a... Anti-combat, right, so that's not shooting down our missiles. Oh, no, 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 actually, it's stained sensors, I want to see. They don't have a repair drone, so that's okay. But I think this will be fine. Our offer wasn't good enough. A bit more fuel? Nah. Let's just see what we can pillage from his corpse. Or from his wreck. Right, O2's back online. And the enemy is offline. 10, 20 scrap. Eh, that's not bad. Upon closer inspect, uh, inspectation, inspection, you realize the ship under attack was a rebel scout. Too damaged to put up much of a fight. Uh, ooh, so we could destroy it, or we could delay this fleet. Uh, there's not many places to go, so let's just destroy the ship. One fuel and eight scrap and a drone part. Okay. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to get anywhere to explore anyway. 
Right, we're in a nebula. Sensors are down. It appears that an automated ship was waited. Was was waited. <laughs> was positioned within the nebula to wait for our passing. Oh, it's powering up FTL, is it? You like running away, do you? Let's use a missile to take out the pilot seat then. Make sure that hits. It didn't hit. That's why I didn't fire the laser right away. Uh, we're in no rush, so we'll just... Actually, maybe we are in a rush. Yeah, because our doors are now on fire. This is a fire drone. Take down the drone. Fire is bad in a nebula because you can't see what's on fire. Apart from the little fire icons over your systems. So let's make sure there's nothing here. No. Uh, med bay is okay. What's the systems? Uh, the sensors, that's okay. Right, we're fine. Ship breaks parts. We get some fuel and some scrap. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. I'll just heal up and we'll head out. Okay. Good job, everyone. To the exit! You arrive at the beacon. Another rebel checkpoint is monitoring this location. The civilians are waiting, and they haven't noticed us yet. Shut down, stay hidden, or attack? I think attack. That's definitely our style. Alright, another beam. Let's uh, try and take out their weapons. Come on, shields get it back up. Yes. Now aim for the... What do you call it? Drone control. Excellent. Shield. Oh, no. I was going to go for the shields, but they've got their weapon back online. So let's uh, take that down. Good. Good. I probably, yeah, got the drone back up. We're just going to have to alternate between these two. I could uh, launch a missile, but we don't really need to use it, and we've only got six, so it might be worth holding on to them. We're not going to jump away. We're fine. Oh, their FTL is charging though. Uh, now we're going to use a missile. FTL delayed. Ooh! Take everything we have. Four fuel, four missiles, and nine scrap. Yeah, please. That's a lot of stuffs. Many stuffs. Uh, NG or Rebel? We also have to look ahead, because these NG sec this NG sector leads to Nebulae. What's this? Unidentified. Right. Let's go to the NG. We can go through the Nebulas afterwards. We arrived in NG space. The Mantis are threatening them. We should be able to stock up. Let's hope so. Let's keep going. You arrive in a system and discover a pirate ship with no life forms. Okay, let's take the stuff. Ooh, a store. Uh, let's go to the store first. Uh, we can fix. We might do that. Teleporter. That might be an interesting option. Um, might be worth buying an NG, but. I think I would rather put the points or the scrap into better systems. Mind control might be fun. But no, I don't think we're going to use them. I think we're going to spend the scrap on our ship. So what can we do? I think shields are probably going to be necessary. And I would like an extra point in engines, but we don't have enough scrap power it just yet. So, uh, I think we will we'll go up here, then we'll go right, and then we can see what will be around us. See a number of NG space stations and fleet nearby. Despite looking like junk tied together, we're just actually a model of efficiency. But it looks like nothing is going on. Cross paths with an NG cargo vessel, hurrying home before the Mantis fleets take over the sector. They gave us some stuff. Nice. More scrap is always nice. Um, I'm not, I think we're going to hug this middle of the map. Oh, this was a bad choice. 
Beacon has been placed too close to a sun. And there's this guy attacking us. Let's blast him. Oh, you want to take out our fuel? Not our fuel, our O2. Oh man, that'd be nasty if you could target the fuel deliberately. Your, your entire ship would explode. Oh, that's bad. That's even worse. Right, you need to go and heal Jed. Uh, I need to keep remembering to shoot them while I'm doing that. Please don't kill us. Wow! Free fuel, 8 missiles and 13 scrap. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, we're going to need those missiles. Titan can go and... What do you call it? What do you call it? What's the word? Pilot, that's the word. These guys can do their thing. Uh, actually, go into doors. Uh, that didn't turn out to be necessary. That's fine. Go back to your position. I put him indoors just in case uh, fire was in the middle of the ship and we had to stop it spreading. Small platform orbits near this beacon. Looks like a refueling station. Let's see what they've got. They begin refueling. Oh, what? As you dock, there's an explosion from the engine room. Warning lights flash in your ship as pirates from the station swarm aboard your vessel. That's rude. But luckily they're NG, so they can't do anything to us. They ain't got nothing. Where are they going to go? They're going to go into there. So we're also going to crowd into there. So the NG are weaker. I think they have, they're worse at fighting as well than everyone else. Um, that might be wrong, though. I'm sure they're definitely weaker, though. Back again. That was a bit of a bust, literally. Nice moon. You arrive at a populated sector. A merchant's looking for a mercenary. Let's see. Our ship is reasonably equipped, thanks. Fools for a yeah, the fools flew for a pirate filled sector. And he needs us to find his cargo. Sure. We can do that. Ooh, maybe we can't. That's miles away. Yeah, okay, let's let's do it. Luckily we can get to this beacon. You arrive at a green plant with great plains and falling waterfalls. But nothing to do. This has been quite an empty sector, it seems. Scan for the merchant's delivery ship. You find the remains of the ship. Has taken severe external damage, but can't figure out why. Cargo seems intact. You managed to, to discern the ship's location. Destination, rather. Uh, we could take two fuel, drone part, and 19 scrap. Let's keep going with it. Quest marker in the next sector. Okay. We'll probably, I'm guessing we'll probably get a better reward. And if not, it's not too much to lose. Debris from a battle is scattered around the system, a hull missile. Very nice. Well, what does that do? High hull damage plus a decent breach chance. Does double damage if they hit a room that doesn't have a system or subsystem. Hmm. Very nice indeed. That would uh, possibly be worth putting an extra point into weapons just now in case we need to use it. What have we got? I don't think we'll do that just yet. We'll probably do that soon into the next sector. We arrive at the beacon. Come across a pirate in hot pursuit of another unidentified ship. Um, two missiles and eleven scrap. Nah, let's attack the pirates. They shot, they stop, and lock on. A tiny little laser, one shot cannon. They've got no chance. Especially if they miss. Although we just missed the same. So we've got two NG and a human. They're going to be repairing too fast for us to take them down, I think. Although... 
it's worth keeping uh, Z in the shields just to keep the, keep the experience going up. So. Just interesting to see what they do to their ship while we're damaging it. It looks like they're having a little shift around there. Yeah, because their pilot's now really hurt. Uh, previous officer wasn't good enough. Six fuel. Um, that's actually quite good. Because we always need fuel, and we probably won't get... What would six fuel be uh, for each? 18. We're probably not going to get 18 extra scrap from this. Fine, let's take the bribe. That'll do. Let's head on to the next sector. So two sectors in 20 minutes. That's not bad. You arrived in a... You've entered a nebula-rich sector. You may put a few light years on the fleet, but they're only useful if you make it out the other side. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Oh, there's the quest. That's... Right, we're going to have to fairly fly. So the fleet is going to be following us much slower, but yeah, we're in the middle of a plasma storm with a scout waiting for us. Okay, so our reactor is only at half capacity. Our backup battery is really going to shine here. Luckily, half his power is down too. So he's only got his uh, missile launcher up. Right, we need our O2 on. Um, let's pump it into engines and hope we can avoid some of his missiles. Right, we're not going to use the back battery just yet. Ugh, rats. Okay, uh, evasion's down, so we need to go up and repair that before anything else happens. Um, might as well put it into shields for now, just in case he changes, but it doesn't look like... Oh, that's on fire. Good. Oh, looks like they've got pretty severe fire. But it's, uh, I'm going to wait and see. It's a shame I don't have... Oh, okay, so they're repairing. Let's fire burst at their... Oh, they're FTL charging. Okay, we're going to have to kill them. Might as well charge up the Artemis, just in case. You've clearly bested us. The only one are their lives. Um... Hmm, not sure. 18 scraps, not bad. Two missiles. We've got loads of missiles. Um, let's see what happens. Let's risk it. Oh, yes. Two missiles, 34 scrap. That was, that was luck. That was pure luck. I don't deny that. Right. I don't want to be in this plasma storm anymore. No, thank you. Crew are constantly looking at the windows, but we don't see anything. Okay. Right. No shop. Uh, I think we should spend some scrap. No point upgrading our sensors just now. So I think we'll leave the Artemis online just now. But uh, we've got the hull missile. We need something of a bigger punch. The Artemis has a slower charge time, so it's actually better. Nothing happens again. It's a really fascinating sector. Right, we're going to go along the top and swing down. You spot a rebel ship in the nebula and stay off the radar. Chase them! But without sensors, we can't maintain a lock. Damn. It's a good job the Federation isn't watching us just now. Your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting on the police station to look for you. Attack! Ooh, that's a big laser. I think that's the same as we've got. Okay, intruder aboard. Um, we're going to need to launch an Artemis at their shields, then follow up with a laser burst. Oh, goodness, they took down the O2. Right, we'll deal with the intruder. Now we'll get our O2. Where did our laser go? Oh, 
Oh, and our own laser mist. Come on, we need to take down the shields. Oh, jeez, Jad, right, okay, go and heal. Oh yeah, that also happened uh, last time. Jad got killed by the anti-ship battery. Man, did our other missile just miss again? Right, finally, got their shields down. Take everything we have and let's forget this happened. After all that trouble? No, you are dying. That was a bad choice, wasn't it? Oh, hull breach. Come on, lasers, take down their weapons. Ooh, the ship explodes. Three fuel, two missiles, and 30 scrap. Okay, um, I'm not sure the extra scrap was worth the damage we took to get it, but it probably does. Right, let's uh, heal our chips and then sort out this hull breach. I heard that when a missile hit us, so... Right, good, that's gone, and you can only get three in a med bay, so we should be Always remembering not to leave the other one in the room with no oxygen. Don't really need the sensors back online, but you never know. Okay, O2 is normalizing. Let's get ready to jump. So this is where we want to go. But we're still miles ahead of the fleet, so... Nothing but static. Ooh, a shop. Right, we'll go here, up to the shop, then back down on our way to the quest. You see a small station, and here feel the shudder of shots ringing through the ship. Sent uh, intruders board, and they're in the med bay. Excellent. I'll have a fight in the med bay any day. I think that's all, all of them. Just go and have a look and make sure. None of our systems are being damaged, so I think we're okay. Shouldn't last too long. Come on. Great. Didn't go too badly at all. So I'm thinking after that last fight... Nah, the whole missile, missile doesn't do any extra damage to system rooms. So, uh, it's just the non-system rooms. So there's no advantage having it. The center of a hydrogen cloud doesn't look like a very usual place for a store, but the NG aren't a usual species. Wouldn't hurt to take a look. No, I agree. <gasps> Vulcan. Oh, I want the Vulcan. I want the Vulcan so badly. The Vulcan is ridiculous. It is faster. It gets faster with every shot it fires until it fires... I'm not sure. Chain charge cap 1.1 seconds. So it's just firing constantly and it just chews through shields. Oh, they're so lovely. But uh, 95 and it needs 4 power to use. We do have 4 power slots. Oh, I could be super ballsy and sell everything. Right, what's it? 95 and I've got 48. So I need quick maths 47. So I could sell my missile launchers. See, this falls into my really bad ideas phase, and I need to repair. Oh, forget it. I'm selling everything. You only see a Vulcan every so often, so we're gonna take the opportunity, and uh, it's probably not gonna pay off. But that's why we do it because it's fun. Hopefully, I'll get to show it off. You look like a military wrestle. We're trying to get her back home alive. We need to improve our reactor if we have any extra supplies. Um, I don't. I'm not desperate to have my reactor upgraded, and I don't really want to lose that fuel. Okay, no, we're not going to do that. It's not a great deal. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do this one. Then we'll go to the, the scrap beacon. Automated Rebel Scout was... oh, it's going to power up 
an FTL away. Okay, we need to shoot the pilot. So he's mind controlled Z, who is now blasting our shields, which isn't very kind. Right. Let's take down the what do you call it? Uh, mind control. Right, we broke the mind control. Fine, O2 is down. Why have we not got... Oh, they ioned her. They ioned us, didn't they? So now you can see the Vulcans charging up. I think this might just work out. Ship breaks parts and we get some scrap. Nice. Is everyone healthy? Everyone is. Okay. The stress beacon. You'll create a nearby human mining colony. We're setting up a quarantine. Um, we could go and try and help them out, but we might lose people. Um, I don't. I've got. Mm, no, we're not going to risk it because I really don't want to lose anyone when we've just got a freaking Vulcan cannon. You find the station that had ordered your car or cargo. You drop it off and they respond. Ignoring the fact this is days late, we really appreciate that you delivered them. We realize how dangerous the sector is. Take this as payment for some scrap and an anti-personnel drone. Not great, but we can sell the drone. The drones are actually really good if you have the drone control, but we just don't. Right, so nothing's going on here. So uh, where can we go now? Another is a slug-controlled nebula or a mantis-controlled. Slugs like their mind control. I think we're going to go for the Mantis. I didn't really like that nebula. You enter a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. This is going to be fun. I think that the, Vul the Vulcan is either going to go really well or it's going to go really, really badly. But, um,. I don't know, I think uh, when it gets charged up and it's firing at like once a second, I think it's going to be able to get through the shields quite well. Perhaps even better than a missile launcher, because if it misses it's not quite such a, a difficulty. But whatever happens, we're going to see what happens next time. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of FTL Fridays! <coughs> Sorry it wasn't the episode it's supposed to be. But uh, these things happen with a roguelike. Sometimes things go wrong and you can't re-record it. But uh, if you like what you saw, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment. Comment below if you want to join the crew and I'll put your name on the roster. Sub to the channel, share the video, that helps out a whole lot. And be sure to tune in next time. See you then.